Well, hopefully you were able to get a general idea of how I'm working with Junk Journal July in this particular journal. I am not specifically sticking to each day. What I'm doing is using each prompt as inspiration for the pages and the ephemera and how I put the journal together. And I think this would be actually something good just to have on hand because um, this list is really a great list of prompts. And this would be great just to keep as a guide for making your junk journal, especially if you're new to junk journaling. And yeah, it gives you a lot of great ideas. So far, I have this tag that I had in my ephemera stash of things that I've just made, tested out, tried out. And I think I'm going to use this in the front somehow. I also have this label and tag from the Deep Floral Kit. It's a printable kit available in my shop at ScrapCraftastic.com. So I'm going to be using those as part of the embellishment for this tag. I'm still not sure how I'm going to work with this on the cover, on the inside cover, but I think that's where I want that to be. You saw in the video how I made this envelope and there is space behind for some items and also on the inside. So I will probably embellish this even more. I may even have this open. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. And I think it may be time for me to go ahead and bind this also. Here's the other envelope that I made. Again, I have the actual envelope pocket and space behind. These are, this was a free printable. Uh, if I can find the link, I will link it in the description box below. But I had already printed this, so I just cut it out and inked it up and used it. And these little tags that I made with the washi tape can slide right down in here. I just left them out because I just love this washi tape and I want to be able to see it. But they do fit in the envelope and you can write on the back and it is a shimmer paper on the back. I don't know if you can see that. I just used a piece of shimmer cardstock that was a little dented. Just used that. Other thing that I made was this on page pocket. So it's going to have something to slide in here, probably with a tab to easily pull it out. And then you have this vellum pocket here. This is another piece of the ephemera from the deep floral kit in my shop and it was a little beat up so I put the envelope together a little differently with the flaps on the outside just to cover up where the paper was torn a little bit from the die cutting process so that's in there um, I, honestly I really got stumped for a while stuck and didn't know how I wanted to do this how I wanted to film it so I'm just kind of taking you along with me, showing you bits and pieces of what I'm doing along the way. And if you see something that I have done that you would like to know more about, just let me know in the comments below. And then I can come back and do a video showing you what I did, how I did it. This is another freebie. Um, I think it was a freebie. It's a printable. I downloaded it, cut it out, inked it up, and just put it together. It's, it's an envelope. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. And again, I just kind of been going through ephemera that I have or embellishments that I've made just to see what I can use. So I have a whole box of that stuff. And if you would like to see my box of goodies, let me know and I can share that also. So, and then I just went through some scrap papers and pulled out some things. So you probably see me um, working with some of these items because I thought they were good matches and would work inside of this journal. So and here's the other envelope that I made. Anywho, so that is where I am so far. I think I will be binding this soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.